Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick video to talk about um, something that's interesting because of course today we've learned that by Qualcomm that um, the first Windows 10 devices running on ARM processors will happen in the fourth quarter of this year. And we see this week that uh, you know with the build of Windows 10 Mobile and Windows 10 on PCs now taking a different path of course we're wondering you know and the main question was well I think Windows 10 Redstone 3 will not be on phones then again it will be on phones and here's my take on this yes it is true that basically you will have no more Windows 10 mobile but the fact that new devices will run Windows 10 using basically ARM processors simply means that you know what that's going to be the next Windows 10 mobile handsets we're going to have simply a device that runs the real Windows and that you can do pretty much what you want and technically you know what it's better like that because every device that will be made for ARM processors will technically run whatever you want instead of being stuck in a mobile world and um, you know it's going to be updated all the time since that's going to be you know the official Windows so for Microsoft you know no more headaches no uh, no no two teams working on a separate Windows 10 version depending on the device that you want to use so it's kind of interesting to see this and um, it's going to be interesting in 2018 to see will we get you know some devices like phones that will simply have Qualcomm's uh, ARM uh, processors and Windows 10 simply running in them this is possibly something that's going to be really uh, happening and it is interesting to look at because it is very interesting to know that we're going into that direction and what's interesting in that direction also is the fact that we might start being in a world that will depart from the usual Intel AMD world and uh, if using you know these Qualcomm ARM CPUs makes it more or even makes it less expensive that could be a very very interesting new world that will go with Windows in the future and um, you know I, I can't wait to see these first devices what they will look like and how they will work and the promise also you know compared to Intel and AMD these CPUs are very very power efficient I mean I can also see Windows 10 devices running much longer using these CPUs so you know I, I I think the world is going towards yes Windows 10 mobile like we see it today is probably over but I do see that companies might want to do Windows 10 phones that will have the real thing and I mean that could be interesting in another sense is that not only will you have a phone that is a phone and has a Windows but it will have probably ways to connect it to say a screen you know there's continuum that actually does that and maybe your phone can become a PC for the time that you need to work and uh, even with you know more powerful devices who knows your phone might become a gaming device so uh, I think it's gonna be interesting to see um, now we have to see who will make these handsets I think Microsoft maybe is waiting for that time period to make new handsets new phones that will have the real Windows 10 uh, maybe that's what's happening in this pause maybe not maybe third-party companies will start making phones with Windows 10 in them um, one thing for sure we I really hope that we don't end up in three or four years with a domination of just Android and iOS and that's it and nothing else that I don't think is something positive for anyone I think if we can have devices with Windows 10 that compete with that these two big 
platforms, um, it, it's much needed and it is something that would be uh, really nice to see. So anyways, uh, it's going to be something to look forward and as we get the first devices later this year, I think we'll also have maybe a better idea of uh, our future with all of these devices. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.